Brandon Bennett and Pat Slack here, Century 21 Commercial in Kearney, Nebraska, the next in our Fast Friday videos. And Pat, again, an example of we're searching for content for our Fast Friday video. And just a few moments ago, you and I were in a discussion about single net versus double net versus triple net. When you add that onto a lease, where that comes from, benefits, drawbacks for both tenants and landlords, there's a lot to discuss here. Absolutely. And just for clarification, let's define that one more time for our listeners. Uh, your single net is your real estate taxes. Your double net is your uh, insurance to the property, hazard insurance. And your third net is uh, maintenance and repairs to that property. Oftentimes, Brandon, as we were just alluding to, is what's included in maintenance and repairs. Uh, honestly, it's never the same every year. So it, it's, it's variable. It's and it has to be built out. And most of the owners would like to see triple net, but it takes work, it takes accounting, it takes billing, it takes statement and verification of all that for maintenance and repairs. Because we know, you know, taxes are gonna be here. They may deviate a little bit, same way with insurance, but maintenance and repairs is the biggest one. Oftentimes tenants come to us, what's that include? So they get hesitant, hesitant with the lease because of the unknown. So the more information you and I have, when we have a property for lease, it's great to have that so we can disclose that and get people more comfortable so we can get essentially the space leased out quickly. And uh, oftentimes people, tenant-wise, run into budgets. And so if you have a what I call a variable lease with a triple net, it's billed out for actuals, you know, you run into some maybe some uh, budgetary concerns with a potential tenant, and so they'll shy away. And so some properties, you know, are normal for triple net and easier to do, while others, the gross lease is probably more practical in this situation. And you can come to a good estimation and come to a square foot to, to uh, market that lease rate for that facility. And of course, to define the triple net, that's an additional per square foot charge on top of what the actual base lease is. Right. So if it's 12 bucks per square foot, plus your triple net, you're paying $12 a square foot, plus whatever your triple net is, which may be three and a half. So actually your total rent is $15.50 right. per square foot. And then to not further complicate things, which means we're about to, when we talk about areas, we're talking about things like common area maintenance that could or may not include snow removal, sprinklers in the yard, cutting the grass once the sprinklers have right. kicked in enough. So there's all kinds of things to consider. And to your point, when someone is looking at what that variable looks like, could mean a lot if we've got a lot of snow one year or we've got a lot of rain the next. Well, and we need to advance this just one more step while we're gonna talk about details. You know, when you have those items in your triple net and you're going through that, I have some owners who say, okay, this is the estimation for uh, this particular year. I'm good with that. It's like horseshoes, right? Close enough is good enough. I also have landlords who say, no, here's the estimate. We're gonna do actual billing. And so those conversations, how, how do you wanna handle that? Who's gonna be billing? Where are you gonna get your statement from? Who gets to have those conversations and with whom? Lots of detail indeed. Let us be your one who protects you. Give us a call if you have any questions and let us find the right triple net or even gross net lease for you. Pat Slack and Brandon Bennett's here, Century 21 Commercial in Kearney, Nebraska. Our phone number, 308-234-5550. Have a great weekend.